Welcome to the Conscious Creative Podcast, your weekly dose of soul to soul conversation that will have you saying peace out to your nine to five to explore in your sacred calling. The topics center around conscious business and interviews with the folks who started them. We'll be exploring the art of being human and what it takes to live your life fully expressed and financially free. I'm Christina Gomes, and I went from high-paying job as a psychotherapist to leaving it all behind for my desire to travel the world, playing my original music, to becoming the CEO and solepreneur founder of FreeYourCreativity.org, where I help visionary leaders create the businesses of their wildest dreams. If you have a sacred calling, stick around. My prayer is that you become the permission slip for the collective as you hear the soul-inspiring stories that call you forth into creative action. Let's get to the soul. Welcome everyone watching and listening. I'm Christina Gomes and I'm here with my amazing client, Amy Takaya, who just had such an amazing launch. She really nailed it. She is such a success story. I put her all over my website and I'm here interviewing her today to give you some key tips and clues and tricks and guidance really on how you can have a beautiful, successful launch. So we're going to talk today about three things that Amy did to make her launch feel really amazing, but also make a ton of money. My name is Amy Takaya, and I am a somatic educator and a transformation facilitator. I help heart-led leaders, teachers, coaches, therapists out of physical tension and pain in their bodies through somatic movement methods. And I also help them reprogram their relationship to food and start connecting with plant foods as a form of divine self-healing in their lives. So those two things together are what I've created my program around. They're what I live in in my day-to-day life in my body. Um, And I think it's a recipe for not only a person who's going to live to be a hundred well, but also a person who is radiant and filling the world with the joy that comes from being embodied in a way that feels safe and pleasurable. And we just need more of that in the world, honestly. Oh, wow. Yes, I feel it. What I feel is clarity and like radiating towards you. Amazing. (laughs) And I know when we first started working together last year, there, there wasn't this clarity that you have now. It was like clear that you were good at what you did. And what my program does is help you like express that, own that, get it out there, get your message out there. And I am noticing such a difference, but I want to hear from you today. Where were you before you joined the Conscious Creative Business Merchant? What was coming up for you? Who were you then? I had been working as a yoga teacher professionally like you for many years and I traveled the world and then I came back home to the United States and sort of settled down and I was working as a caregiver and, you know, making minimum wage and I was doing my somatic practice on the side and I didn't really know how to talk to people about it. I wasn't really clear how to sell this thing because while it was something that I knew was really powerful and it worked, it was extremely effective, I didn't really have the tools or the mindset of a business person about it. And so I didn't really, I was like, okay, nobody knows what this thing is that I'm doing. It's not like yoga, which is everybody knew what yoga was, you know, roughly, but like, how do I sell something that people don't know what it is? Like, how do I represent that? And I was struggling. I was really struggling to figure out not only how to fund my life, but how to use this really powerful tool and these gifts that I have to impart that, how to share that with the world effectively and and have it actually be successful for me. So that was definitely like a, a big little phase of my life of a couple of years where I was really struggling with trying to figure this out. And I started seeing your content and it started speaking to me. I started feeling like you were talking to me, <laughs> telling me that there's a way. And I was like, really, there's a way, you know, and, and there were a few other people in my life who were encouraging me. And, and so, yeah, it was, it was definitely like you planted a little seed with the messaging that I saw through your content. Oh, so amazing. It's like these methods really work because the first thing we do in the immersion is decide who we're ready to serve now. Even if we've served other people, like who really is the best fit for what we do? How do we describe them? How do we speak to them? And like, I know my methods work because like you came into my life. (laughs) 
<laughs> and it's like, and every time I talk to somebody, I'm like, wow, yeah, they're cool. I can't wait to help them sell their cool thing. <laughs> and it's, it's that simple. And then you get to go out there and attract your people by speaking to them as well. And you had had such great success in my business immersion. Like there are no winners, but I'm like total winner. And there are some people who don't share their successes. So I was like very, it's like people do well, but I was just so happy that you are so enthralled by how well you did. And so I want to tell the watchers and the listeners about your success. And then we'll break down a little three things that you did to make that a reality. So what are some of the successes that you had? How much money did you make? How many people did you call in? We want to know it. So. I, when I first started your immersion program, I put out, you know, a one-to-one offer to my existing group of people. And it wasn't actually on social media at this time. It was with your advice of just like, you know, call people up and tell them about your idea for your program. So I did that and I got two clients, one-to-one who wanted to work with me for um, a minimum of three months and they each paid me $3,000. So in my first month, of the immersion, I made 6,000 with uh, this one-to-one package that I designed um, at that time. At that time, I wasn't even thinking to work with with a group, which is what I eventually did. I was thinking to just do one-to-one. So that was the initial money that I made. And then when I decided through your program to do your launch method and to do a group program to really maximize the results and, and maximize my time management, I then priced the offer at 5,000 per person. And then there was a, a, a discount if you signed up like in this frame of time, right? Mm-hmm. So overall, one person got that discount or that that coupon code or whatever, right? And then two people paid in full 5000 So for my launch, I made $14,000 combined with the six grand in February when I started your program. My rough estimate at this point is minimum 20 grand that I made. Which was honestly, that was working minimum wage as a caregiver, 30 hours a week. That's how much I made last year as my job working for the state of California. Less than that, $18,000. I made 20 grand doing my own thing online, selling something that meant the world to me. And I made the amount of money that I would have made an entire year caregiving for the state of California. Wow. (laughs) That's like an, inter- it's like a tangible result, a tangible win. But what I'm hearing also is this, what it means in your life. Mm-hmm. And that's why, like I had tears in my eyes earlier. Like I was pretending that there was something in my eye, but <laughs> who knows why I was a little teary eyed, but I feel it's like, I, I understand how much this meant to you. And I remember in our initial uh, sales conversations, And I have sales conversations, selling as a service. We all get to have sales conversations. But I remember hearing things about you that I was like, I know I can help this woman. And it it was because you had such drive. It meant something more than the money. And that's why it's like so easy to talk about the money because that money brought you to a new house. (laughs) That money, you also, what the watchers might not know about you, you're a wife and a mom and you caretake for you were caretaking at the time but you caretake for your family as well it's like you know about the food so i'm sure you cook them lovely meals as well and so you it, it feels like it's radiating from you it literally feels like this was not hard it was just something that you were like i'm going to take the steps <laughs> and i'm going to take them in between my role as a as a mom but did you want to talk about that about those kind of internal wins as well yeah. So for me, I, I've always been the kind of person where I, I know if I set my mind to doing something, I can do it. It's about whether or not I actually set my mind to the thing that is actually in my best interest. <laughs> right. Mm. Um, and so that's why I was, you know, hesitant at first about joining, you know, your program and doing social media. Cause I had actually quit social media for like two years. I had been mm-hmm. off of it because of all the pandemic. And I felt like that sense of like, Oh, I'm allergic to this for like a minute. You know, I need to just have some space. Mm-hmm. And so stepping back into that was a little bit scary. Also raising my prices was a little bit scary, but I just felt that this was really where I needed to put my my mindset where I needed to put my focus to get the result that I was really after, which was, you know, the freedom to work from home hours that I choose, right. 
and to be able to fund my life doing something that I find deeply important. Right. Yes. So yeah, juggling like the different responsibilities that I had. Yeah, it was challenging. And I'm really glad that I asked for help when I needed it. I asked for help from my husband. I asked for help from my father and my family, you know, other moms, you know, who have small kids in the area. Like I asked them for help sometimes just a couple of hours so I could work on some content or so, you know, I, my husband take my son out for 45 minutes so I can do a live, you know, like I just, I figured out how to fit it in, in my busy schedule of my day, because I knew that you know, I could take that 45 minutes to just take a nap and maybe that's also a good thing to do. But if I took that 45 minutes, you know, or half of that 20 minutes to read some of, you know, the um, conscious creative business school information or to think about my message or to do a little bit of writing, just even 20 minutes here and there would accumulate, would make, would make the change happen, would make the, the thing that I wanted occur. And it did. Yes, yeah. because you know I I am a mom to cats and they don't bother me all that much. <laughs> not that kids, not that kids are bothered, but like they're not really asking that much of me. They go meow for food sometimes, and they're it's like so people are like, okay, of course it's easy for you. You have all this time and space. But what I've seen from my clients who are parents, who are mothers to young children, sometimes even single mothers, they figure it out because the thing I'm hearing is that it's important to you. Yes. And that's what differentiates somebody who is like, oh, I'm going to try this out. <laughs> I'm just going to try this out. We both don't work with people who are going to try things out. And that's why we have made our programs. Both our programs are high ticket. I know you wanted to talk about that today. And the three things that you did, one of them was just committing to the high ticket life <laughs> and committing to learning the skills to sell a high value offer rather than going, I don't have the time, <laughs> but making the time to learn the skills, but you actually implemented them. And by choosing to go high ticket, how, how did that change your life? How did that change the way that you showed up and use social media? Well, it had, you know, it had me recognizing the true value of what I'm teaching right? It changed my own thinking about what I was teaching. It's like, this is something that I, you know, know can change your life. If you, you know, follow the instructions, just like if I follow the method that you're teaching, I will get a result, right? If my clients follow the instruction, they will get a result and it will be life-changing. And so owning that meant putting a price on it that would reflect that so that people would get it so that they would understand, but also I would show up ready to sell something that's going to change your life. Not just something that's interesting. Maybe you never heard of it. Let's try it out. You know, that's not what I'm selling. I'm selling something that is going to in completely change the way you've been experiencing your body, help you release trauma, tension, and pain from your, that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so the price had to reflect that. And I finally understood that then I was communicating to my people what they were truly getting. Mm -hmm. They were getting it. They were going to get a result that had the five, a five thousand dollar sticker on it. Not a result that yeah. was 80 bucks, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Do you want an 80 buck result? <laughs> Do you want this 5K result? I love it so much, 5K, 6K, 10K. Like these are numbers. These are stickers that we get to put on our offers, but they're also an energetic boundary. How did you act? You know, I see how you activated that power, that commitment within yourself. You went all in on yourself. So of course, you're going to want to attract people who go all in on themselves. And these prices are an indicator of that. They're a representation of how deeply our desires mean something to us, how deeply the life that is on the other side of your program how that means for someone, what that means for someone. And, and it is about you owning it. And because you're owning your price, you're not wobbly on that. And you may raise it even, and you're owning your, you are owning the confidence on what it can really do for people. They also, they get that transmission in your space. So it's really a mix of a magical process <laughs> and a tangible, like, this is how we price. And this is actually how we convey the message of our pricing. And what I really love is 
like through the immersion, you took the lessons, but just like all my best clients, the ones that get the best success, you infused it, like you took it into your own system and you spit it out (laughs) in your own special way. It's like, it's not just like, let me do what Christina does. That was never going to be your vibe. Uh, it, but it was like, oh, I can really take this. And you see how you translate it into your own program, in your own life. <laughs> and you are like, I'm not going to, you never had to like go against your values. And that's mm-hmm. what I really loved about your like conviction is like, this is what I value. I value my, my program <laughs> at this price. <laughs> And there was no wobbles. You weren't wobbly. So they weren't wobbly. And you went all in on, on my program. You saw, I, I don't wobble on my price. I raise it every time. And it's not like a gimmick when I say, Hey, the next time it might be more. (laughs) So if you're waiting for something, uh, (laughs) it's not, it's, it's just all in integrity. And I love that kind of selling. So thank you for really going for it and becoming like becoming who you are were always meant to become, which was you with, with clear, clear conviction. Amazing. And so what else? That was one thing you committed to high ticket. We're going to talk about three things today. What was another uh, thing that thingy It was something that you shifted into uh, something that would, that our watchers and listeners can take with them today to integrate into their own business. They want to be a success like Amy. (laughs) So during my launch, One thing that I did was I sought support. First of all, I had hired you not just for the the business immersion, but I had one-to-one coaching with you. So I made sure to have my last coaching call right during my launch so that I could talk to you so that I could get support around the steps to take and around different fears and anxieties that I was having. I mean, it's my first time. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know. I can feel it. You know, that it, that this, it, the word that I loved to keep bringing into myself about my program and about the success of my program, I just kept repeating this word to myself, inevitable, inevitable. And also telling myself, this has already happened. I already did it. I'm just not there yet. Like I just, I'm just on this side of the story right now. So I kept carrying that through my launch, even when I had like a lot of fears and anxieties come up right? I had this fear of like being um, annoying, right? And be showing up too much and being salesy on my feet. And I was like, you know, I'm only salesy if I bring that, if I somehow am acting inauthentic, if I'm just showing up saying, Hey, you, I see you and let me help you. I know that you've been living in pain, let me help you out of pain. If I'm showing up authentically speaking to my client, you know, who hasn't signed up yet, but you know, they're waiting for me. We're waiting for each other. Like if I speak from that place, then it changes the whole energy of it. And so I kept having to realign with that, that kind of authentic energy over and over when my shadows would show up, when my fears would show up. And so I got support from, um, from you also from another, coach that I had met and connected with through, you know, being on social media again, and then an intuitive guide who helped me have a ceremony with myself to really connect into the sacredness of my offer and the sacredness of what I was offering. Um, it was really beautiful. And um, what I ended up coming away with, and maybe this is a fun little tip for, for all the people out there, the purity of my seduction, right? So, so selling something or, or, there's, there's a part of what, when we're conveying our message, there is a little bit of like seduction there of like, Hey, you could feel amazing in your body. (laughs) You could have radiant health. You could feel just incredible, right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of seductive, but the purity part of it is that it's coming from a space of intention in me to truly help you and not just make money, not just, you know, sign you up to be like a check off on my list, but really pure love that I'm coming from. And so continuing to realign with that throughout my, throughout my launch was super, super important for me and for my clients that signed up. I can, I can, I could feel that in them. I could see them responding to that clarity that I was bringing into um, myself as I kept going through this process. I love that so much because sometimes people go into this rut of overgiving. Like Mm -hmm. in order for me to sell more, I need to give more value in the marketplace. I need to 
over give. I need to prove that my offer is worth this price. And it's that's a different energy from what I just heard of you taking care of yourself, receiving support from all levels, and then being totally there and available to support people in truth, knowing, hey, I take care of myself so that I can take really great care of you in this container and help you actually transmit how they can take really great care of themselves. But you're more open and available to hear people's stories when one, you're being paid a high value price, but also when you, then you have that, those resources to really receive high level support. This is the kind of up-leveling game that we get to play of like, I am better for my clients because I get a weekly massage. (laughs) How did I afford that a weekly massage? (laughs) I raised my prices and called in amazing clients. It's like this cycle of just care and intention and authenticity. I loved how you said seductress. And there was something else I wanted to speak to about this ceremony, because as I raise my prices, I'm looking at different ways to uh, add value in my offer, not to prove, but because delivery is so important for me. And I teach my clients that, that we do it for the delivery. I have modules now and lessons on delivering the offer. I know that you're all are really great at what you do, but there's like this, I want to make sure that you enter and onboard people from that place as well. And you know how to do that. So I have some lessons now on delivery. I just added lessons on ceremony. So there's a ceremony for each phase. And this kind of goes back into this idea and this concept that I have of if you love your one offer, you have one high ticket offer, you can make it better and better and better. And so we we were talking before we got live of how different ways you're like thinking of making your offer better and it's already the best. (laughs) And as you go through it, you get these downloads, you get these ideas, you get some shifts, some subtle shifts. We don't have to crunch it up, throw it away and start again. When you have one and you're committed to one, you just see how, oh, what really works for your people. So you're going down that path and you are uh, going to be relaunching this offer and you have now, you said, okay, I didn't know how it was. So I got support and now you continue to get support and now you know actually how launching works <laughs> and the inevitable success is is there if we keep going yeah. and we keep uh supporting ourselves and finding different ways to support our clients so i love that you're going to these ceremonial places and i love that i intuitively added that into my offer and how that relates to you and all of you who are creating offers and designing or refining offers. They don't have to be perfect the first time. This is like my sixth iteration of the business immersion. And I just had the download. Hey, why don't I make music? Why don't I have a musical ceremony drum journey (laughs) for each phase? And boom, I got that idea. But because my core structure is created, it's validated, I know people get results, we open up our space to be even more creative. Who knew that we could be more creative? But we can and we get to when we're not focusing on creating something new right. every freaking other <laughs> month when we have an offer we love. You love your offer and I can tell. And that's that seductress part. We don't have to prove nothing. You don't have to give away five modules of your of your offer, you can be the seductress because you know. And yeah. you just have to help people to believe that. The confidence, <laughs> the the sense of of yeah, of knowingness in me. It's transmitted in my in the way that I am with the person. And that's really important when you're doing healing work too, or in even in, in entrepreneurship, because you're working with people who don't know yet that they can have success. Like me, you know, working with me, I didn't know for a period of time whether or not I was going, this was going to work or whether I was going to have success. But if I'm working with someone who's been living in pain, they don't know. So I have to be there on the other side of that struggle, holding that reality for them. So they start to experience it through my nervous system, through my way of being, right? And that's part of how they learn what's possible, you know, for themselves also is through that connection that they get to experience through their, through their guide, through their facilitator, through their coach, right? 
It's a huge part of it. So I love that you put ceremony in. I, I think that's fantastic. That's, right? Yeah, because that was such a part of it. And it's great. The third thing here that I'll say that I did, right? The first was I raised my price and I didn't falter on it. And that helped me hold that really clear certainty about the value of what I do, you know? And then two was that I sought support during my launch and I got really clear on the energy that I wanted to hold when I was um, going live or having sales calls. And then the third thing (laughs) is that I was just relentless. (laughs) I didn't give up. And there were moments when I wanted to give up because some fears were coming up. Like I said, I sought the support when that happened, but the relentlessness is what I'm speaking to about. Like just saying, no, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing it. Like, I'm just going to show up. I said, I was going to go live on this subject and I didn't write all of my notes and it might not be perfect, but I'm just going to go and do it anyway. And half the time I would rewatch it later because you were telling us how important it was to listen to our own content and read our own content. So I did that even though it was uncomfortable to like watch myself, you know, and half the time, you know, I would go into a talk feeling nervous or insecure or something. And then I'd watch myself and I'm like, dude, that's fine. (laughs) I'm great. It's good. Like maybe there's one or two things that could improve, but like, it's, it's really solid. You know, like I am, I am sharing my message. And that's the most, the most important part of it, you know, because not everybody's listening to every little thing you say and scrutinizing. They're just being with you, you know, and how you're showing up and the the, the feeling that they're getting by being with you, you know, is, is really important. Just as important as the information that you're sharing. I love that so much. Hey there, visionary leader. If you're resonating with this message, I'd like to invite you into your next level life and business. Enrollment has begun for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. This is my signature group container to help you design an offer so delicious, so juicy, so based on your soul gifts that you are thrilled to invite your soulmate clients inside of it. I'm going to teach you how to promote this offer with a ton of heart and to sell out this offer with ease to meet your revenue goals. I would love to have you inside if you are a visionary leader who knows that they are great at what they do. You'd like to collapse the timeline on how long it takes to reach consistent income with an offer that you truly love. Go to the link in the show notes to apply for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. I will be sitting with your application individually, and I will send an email to let you know if you've been accepted in a few days after application. Thank you for trusting me with your vision, and I can't wait to see what we co-create. And in the success series that I deliver, there's that lesson where it's like, where does money actually come from? (laughs) Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's like, it really comes from your energy and your message because clients need to understand because it comes from clients, we could say, but then if we keep kind of unveiling, well, where do the clients come from? (laughs) Where does this come from? Where does this come from? Actually, it comes from the depths of you. If you're brave enough to share your message, then you're going to be able to refine it because you can't refine something that isn't created, that it isn't out there. I'm so happy that you looked over your videos with loving eyes because I watch your content with such loving eyes because you have got such a great mix of uh, real great information. You're obviously wise and smart and great teacher. But what I really enjoy is that you actually have a lot of content that's fun and funny. (laughs) So you're showing all of you. And that's something that I teach of like, we don't have to overthink this. Like I definitely want us to have thought in our business. And I give you um, 
outlines and even like give you structure on how you can structure a live video and all that is available and there. But if we lose who we are in the process and what is the point? So I've been like watching your life and how you have these series. So to keep, to keep yourself, um, I can imagine to keep yourself consistent and it's like, Oh, what I'm having for breakfast. And you have that voice. And I was like, <laughs> I'm just laughing and we never know really. And with none of our business, uh, why people buy from us. Cause they don't really know. Just like you said, they don't actually know the full extent of why they bought. Like we can say, okay, people buy when they know, like, and trust us. They buy when we are, have clearly uh, created something that solves a problem for them, all of that. But what I find is funny are these little things that get people over the edge that they tell us in secret. Like you didn't know, probably I might've liked it, but you didn't know that I saw the, my very favorite content piece where you had the voice from Bob's Burgers and you were like, Hey, we're talking about food. And I was like, yeah, I like this human. And this is, the, that's that like feature. And we, so we don't know, or people have seriously uh, bought from me because I say aloha in passing because I lived there for seven years and they have a connection spiritually to Hawaii or they see my cats and they're like, oh, I like cats. Or they let, they see my crystals. I'm like I like crystals. And so it's like these little subconscious things that connect us with people that people will never get to experience if we don't just show up and share some kind of message and give ourselves freedom to, to be that person that shares on the internet. I love that you shared your resistance to social media. I actually didn't know that. And because it didn't, you couldn't tell, but I really believe when you love something, when you figure out a way to show up online in a way you love, and that's why I help my clients. I don't want you to show up in a way you don't love. This isn't a box, like a one size fits all coaching program or business in a box. I coach people differently depending on where they're at, what they've told me, their visions. I get to know you all. And then and then it's the same for your message. It's like, oh, someone's going to join you for some odd reason. And you just get to show up and keep expressing fully and keep speaking to the problem that you solve, but expressing fully. And it, our, our businesses are full, full of people that we love to work with all of a sudden. But yeah. you're relentless. Two of the people who signed up to work with me for six months in my program, I never met before social media. They, they found me entirely on social media. They weren't part of my network when I started this program. They, they came out of thin air, <laughs> you know, like very, very interesting um, that, yeah, that that can happen. And, you know, the thing is, I was a consumer of social media rather than a creator. Mm -hmm. of content. And I think that was a changing, like a turning point for me in my appreciation of social media, because when you're just a consumer and you're just scrolling and it's just the thing that you do to kind of like distract yourself from like the th uh, things in life that are, you know, unpleasant, or maybe it's a way that you like get more connected to the things in life that are unpleasant through the news <laughs> or through, you know, right. trying to know everything about whatever's going on. Right. And that can be really like intense too. But when you're creating, when you're actually putting something out there yourself, that's your message, it like changes the way you see it. Suddenly you're like, Oh, this is a platform for, for us to stand up and share our energy right? Not just be on the receiving end of every, every else, every other thing or every, every, whatever thing that's on the internet, like to be putting something out there yourself, you get to be the change you want to see on the internet. You get to be part of the positivity movement and, you know, the self-healing movement that's going on, you know, where people are getting resourced and they're, they're getting help for themselves beyond like the little box that we're normally like presented with, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Right. So that was a turning point for me in social media was being a creator, you know, and, and having you show me the way to do that was um, a huge, huge game changer for me because <laughs> I didn't really know how to do that before. <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. It's my favorite part. It's like, I know I focus on helping people design a high value offer, but the gift that I get is better content in the world. Like I see y'all creating content. Like I'm not going to stop my scroll. I'm not going to pretend that I don't scroll at least for 10 minutes a day just for the fun of it. And now the fun is like seeing my clients and seeing their content and me being like legitimately changed learning something new, like being transformed from my client's content. So it's like, I selfishly do this. 
<laughs> to have better content on my feed. That's it. That's why I do it. <laughs> it's like a sneaky little why, but it's so true. It's like, oh, I, I can, I, I am changed by your content. I am transformed, and that's why I've developed a process called transformational sales, where we're it's the sales starts from from our message and bringing someone from a stranger on the interwebs. There's you met all these strangers. You were a stranger to them. They were a stranger to you. And you lovingly guided them to not just inside your program, but to their own version of a radiant life. That's what's wild. And I get to selfishly feel that <laughs> in my bones. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I, I, we are doing good things out here together. So yeah. that brings me to the point of you joined, you started a group program, you joined a group program. So what would you say to somebody who maybe was like, oh, I just want one-to-ones or like, I don't know if I want to join a program or a group program. I mean, we both, you get availability to upgrade to -to one-to-ones. And I think both of our offers, at least in mine, that's still available. So you have that option, but what would you say to somebody on the edge of joining a program like either one of ours? And they're like, oh, I just don't know. I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if, uh, if I have time, (laughs) what would you say to them? I would say that being in a group coaching program, you're going to get the kind of attention to whatever it is that you want to learn, whatever's drawing you to that program, you're going to get the kind of attention that you always wanted to have in school, that you always wanted to have from your parents, that you always want, you know, that kind of attention that we want as kids, that we want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to be connected to other people. And so beyond like whatever the thing is that you're learning, whether it's, you know, how to create a, an online program that sells or whether it's how to release muscular tension and pain from your body, right? You are getting an environment, you're getting a container of people who are all lovingly holding you in your development. And as human beings, that is so nourishing. That is so like to feel that sense of having a cohort, cohort of having other people who are all doing this thing with you. Right. But then also to feel like you're seen as an individual and that you're heard as a person. Right. So that's what I think is so amazing. I mean, I'm, I've been doing those one-to-ones where it's just me and the client one-to-one and that can get a little more like you can kind of get stuck in like a pattern more quickly because it's just you and that person. And there's, there's this very quick dynamic that starts developing when you have a group, there's just so it's just so much more um, open. There's so many more possibilities for their development, but also for you to pick up on things that need to be said or need to be conveyed, you know, as the, as the coach. So if you're, if you're someone who's out there and you're not sure about a group program, I'm here to tell you it's it's going to change your life. It's going to change the way you are with other people, which is so important in the world. That validation in being with others, we all need that. We all need that from the time we're children, right? I love this conversation. Wow, amazing. This is really, really great. In my program, I teach you how to sell yourself on your own offer. And I I am sold. I'm sold on group programs. <laughs> but that's really like how, how it truly is. As a facilitator and as an experiencer of group programs, I've actually received so much more once I got out of my own head around one-to-ones or groups. So what you just said was amazing for even someone who is thinking about maybe they're in a Zoom room uh, all day long with their one-to-one clients and they want more space and freedom in their life to do all the things, like get their massages, get their ceremonies on. And it's not that I'm like, I've received and given both and I love them both. But there comes a time where groups, uh, you can switch to groups. And if you have this kind of leading, kind of leading edge of like, well, I don't know how to deliver in a group. Exactly what you said, experiencing it really for me, uh, experiencing it as a receiver showed me that I got so much more from a group because I'm seeing how the guide is guiding people in the group. I'm seeing different ideas of how to lead and hold a group, even though I've been holding groups before, you know, since I was a psychotherapist group was like a major, it was a whole 
I think, semester on group work because of the power of groups, because then it's not just all on you as a facilitator. You are hearing from other people that have amazing gifts and skills, and you're also seeing their challenges and problems. And you're seeing, wow, gifted, amazing people, powerful people still have all these kind of different kind of problems. (laughs) And you get to hold each other, just like you said, and witness that holding space becomes so much more deep. Yes, it's deep with you and one person, but when that whole group is nodding, I've shared some pretty intimate things with my group, uh, both as a facilitator, I get a little deep and share some deep things because that's who I am, but also as a receiver and everybody sitting there nodding. Yeah. You know, as a facilitator, it's cool to share from that space and see how your mistakes and your vulnerability help help people to open up. And then as a receiver to see all the faces going, been there, yup, you got this. And, but beyond my coach, it's like, it's magic. So thank you for describing it and allowing me to go on my own little tangent about it and holding space for that because we're helping so many people right now to, if they want to do groups, because I know you said, oh, I didn't even think to do groups. Yeah. And then, then what about being in the a business immersion made you go, oh, wow, yeah. I could do a group. <laughs> well, like I said, watching you deliver a group program, being part of the group program, seeing how it didn't have to be me asking the question. Somebody else asked a question that maybe had been in my head or they were going through something that maybe had been going on with me like three days before, but I didn't think to bring it up. But now I'm getting coached on that through their being coached on that. Now I'm getting the problem solving of that issue through them. And so, and, and probably everybody else in the group is getting that too. So even though you're only you, Christina, are only talking to one person at that moment, you're talking to all of us. And so we're mm-hmm. all receiving that same problem solving and being able to watch you work with, I mean, there was a big group sometimes of like 10 or more people, you know, it was like, oh, well, this, this does work, even if it's not a small group, like we still get, all of us still get something out of this time. And so, yeah, it just, it dawned on me that like, it doesn't have to be just one-to-one in order for it to be effective, in order for it to be, I guess, the information to be personal. <laughs> it's still personal, even when you're in a group. And the other thing is that I felt really confident to have a group knowing that I was going to be calling in dream clients. Because mm. I think that was my other fear with working with a group is like, oh, but what if the group is like got some kind of dysfunction in it or something, Right. But when I'm calling in dream clients, when I'm calling in a caliber of client who is self-responsible and who's ready to, you know, take care of themselves and do the work themselves, Mm. it's just, it's amazing, you know? And so it's, that's, that fear doesn't have to to have to rule its roost or whatever in my mind, because I know that I'm calling in kind of client who's going to be responsible in the group, you know, and bring their beauty and their power to the group. Exactly. And I just went live on this because I keep coming back to this because it's in module one of my program for a reason. Who are you meant to serve? It's okay if they're different than the last person you served. Who who would be fun for you to work with? Because exactly, then you're going to have fun marketing and speaking to those people because you can imagine being in a room full of them. Wow. And, And it's like, Almost our vibe creates those people. When we speak to the empowered version of our people, like I teach my clients to do and taught you to do in the immersion, speaking to the empowered version, it almost creates that. It it, it allows us to be that side of us. Like it allows us to be more bold. It allows us to be who we really are because there's someone out there speaking to us as if we already are. So that's the kind of magic of words that you were, that you so seamlessly have naturally. And you got that permission. You went out there and you're like, oh, I'm just calling in dream people. Yes, Why not? Heart led <laughs> leaders. So the people, I want heart led leaders. I want people who are in some form of leadership in their life and they're leading with their heart. They're leading with empathy for others. And so if you can imagine a container full of those kind of people, don't be afraid to join that group. Right <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, well, I could talk to you forever, but I know you're a busy mom and you've got your clients. <laughs> and so I want to give our listeners a little insight on where they can find you. I know they're all going to be so excited to follow you and your fun content now. <laughs> so I can be followed on Instagram 
at Amy Takaya. My name is spelled A-I-M-E-E-T-A-K-A-Y-A. Um, and I share, uh, I go live once a week on Fridays with a little longer lesson of some kind. This week, I'm talking about somatic yoga and how to start incorporating somatic practices into your yoga, if you're a yoga practitioner. Um, and then I also share lots of food content and food inspiration. And then, like you said, just some fun, silly stuff sometimes too. So yeah. you can connect with me on there and learn more about the work that I'm doing to help people get free and comfortable and easy in their bodies and release themselves from tension, pain and trauma and, uh, and yeah, reconnect with just the joy of being in a body. Oh, the joy. Well, congratulations on your $14,000 launch, your 20,000 big bucks, your new house, (laughs) your amazing life, your amazing shining confidence, all the content that you're creating that is making such a difference in people's lives, even before they join your program, which is really, that's heart-led leadership. It's like, let me make this piece of content and see, see who wants to take the next step with me, but we're changing lives. You're changing lives with, with by being yourself and making a bunch of money doing it. So I'm so happy that we got to have another conversation like this and we can just close with any last final words to tell to somebody who is kind of not yet sharing their voice. What would you, what would you say to them? It's inevitable. And if you believe that the investment, whatever the dollar sign investment that you're going to be making to make that inevitable thing happen, Mm -hmm. it's, it's worth it. It's worth it completely. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Within my first month, I made back like, you know, twice what I paid you. So (laughs) it's like a no brainer. I know I'm just like, (laughs) how do we describe people what is a no brainer? (laughs) Exactly. And I can't wait to hear more about your client success, share it in our group. And this is so amazing. It's always so lovely to talk to you and I will see you so soon.